I finally have some time to talk about some more math, and today we're going to be talking about Taylor series because I love series, that's why it's called Series of Mathletic, especially this time. If you don't know what a Taylor series is or need a refresher, I'll put a link in the description and you can get refreshed and then come back and watch this because we're going to be having some fun. Now these three series are the most commonly known series because they're the easiest to prove, but we're not going to be talking about these, we're going to be talking about some fun equations like the following. When you get down into these complicated series, it becomes more of a game to see if you can just figure it out. Now before we start, there's one thing I need to prove, and this is what this video is going to be dedicated to. Let's start with this series, and this is equal to the summation of 1 to x of n factorial. Now, what, what we can do is we can change all of these to something over 2. For instance, 1 is equal to 2 over 2, 2 is equal to 4 over 2, and then 1 as previously said is 2 over 2. So now what we have is each time we have the products of just even numbers. What I'm going to do now is define a function. We'll say that x minus question mark is every other number product, so kind of like a factorial, but not. One thing we'll notice is that the leading number is always twice the n value, and it's multiplied by every previous number, which we defined it as a question mark. Then what we're dividing by is 2 to the nth power, because we have 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, etc. Now the question is, how do we find the product of odd numbers, because this is in respect to even numbers. We've already established that these two things are equal, so we can set the inside is equal because they both have the same range all the time. So if we write down x question mark and x minus 1 question mark, we'll notice that these fill the gaps. So by multiplying these two together, we then have essentially a factorial. Now we're solving for 2n question mark, so we have to replace all the x's with a 2n. And then we want to solve with respect to 2n question mark. Now that we've identified 2n question mark, we can replace it in this original equation. We're solving for the product of odd numbers, and we'll notice that 2n minus 1 will always be odd if n is an e whole number. We then obviously want to multiply both sides by this to get rid of it. Because you have a fraction over a fraction, you can just get rid of one of the bars. Then all we have to do is divide both sides by n factorial. One thing you may know is that a product of a sequence can be represented by a capital pi. So just as a side note, we can also write it as this. But in, with respect to Taylor series, we want to have it in terms of just factorials. So why exactly does this make sense? 2n factorial can be re represented by this sequence, while n factorial is significantly smaller. However, if we multiply each term by 2, we'll notice they all go to the subsequent even numbers, leaving just the odds behind. For that reason, that the product of odd numbers can be represented by this equation. 